Welcome back to Only Talk Sports, or we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, in the Big Ten on Saturday, there's a game between two teams that had higher expectations coming into the season that are struggling with the Wisconsin Badgers traveling on the road at the Michigan State Spartans. Who do I think is going to win this game? Let's break it down. Now, Wisconsin is 3-3 three and three to start this season, and now Jim Leonard is now the interim head coach now that Paul Christ has been fired by Wisconsin. And in his first game, he had a fantastic result against Northwestern, but we will get to that. In their first game of the season... Wisconsin beat Illinois State 38 to nothing, and that was a good win because Illinois State is not a very good team. But then they lost to Washington State 17 to 14 in the game. It was at home. They should have beat Washington State, but they struggled in this game to score, and that was a bad loss. But then they beat New Mexico State 66 to seven, and that was a good win. But then they lost at Ohio State 52 to 21. It's tough to win in the horseshoe. They weren't even close, and their offense couldn't really get going until the end of the game when Ohio State laxed up. Then they lost to Illinois at home 34-10, to and this was the game that got Paul Chris fired. This right here was a game they probably should have been a lot more competitive in and maybe even beaten Illinois, even though Illinois is playing much better this season. But then they let Paul Chris go. They fired him, and now Jim Leonard is the interim head coach, and they blew out Northwestern on the road 42-7 to in his first game at as the interim head coach, and that was a fantastic result for Wisconsin, going on the road and destroying Northwestern like that, even though Northwestern has been struggling this season. And in that game, quarterback Graham Mertz had 299 yards and five touchdowns. And Graham Mertz was a highly rated recruit coming into Wisconsin, and he has not lived up to the expectations. But it seems like Jim Leonard has opened up the offense more. Either Northwestern defense is really bad, or Wisconsin's offense finally got clicking in this game with Jim Leonard letting it be free. And Graham Mertz had a great game, 299 yards and five touchdowns, as I said. He was his, one of his best games that he's had at Wisconsin in Jim Leonard's first game as interim head coach. Running back Braylon Allen at 135 yards, and he had a passing touchdown of his own. And Braylon Allen is a really good running back, and he's going to be in the NFL. as like Jonathan Taylor is going to fall in his footsteps. Running back Ches Malusi at 31 yards and 23 receiving yards and a touchdown. So Ches Malusi is a good running back as well. Wisconsin has always had a lot of good running backs. Wide receiver Chamari Dyke at 185 yards and three touchdowns the beneficiary of the passes from Graham Mertz, and he, he's doing a lot better now that Wisconsin hopefully, finally, is playing with a more wide-open offense. On the defensive side of the ball, linebacker Nick Herbig at seven tackles, linebacker Tatum Grass at four tackles, and defensive end James Thompson Jr. at two tackles. Wisconsin historically has always had a great defense. They've had a few games this season where they've struggled, like the Ohio State and Illinois games. But if Wisconsin's defense is playing very good, then they can win a lot of games. Now, on the Michigan State side, Mel Tucker, coming in from Colorado, really turned Michigan State around after Michigan State was struggling at the end of the Mark D'Antonio era. But this season, they are 2-4, and four, and they are not playing really good football. In their first two weeks, they won both their games against Western Michigan 35-13 to and Akron 52 to nothing, and it looked like Michigan State was going to have a great season this year. But they've lost their last four games. They lost at Washington 39-28, to and no one really panicked there because Washington was kind of an up-and-coming team, and people were not too concerned with that. But then they lost at home to Minnesota 34-7, to and this game was not close at all. It should have been a lot closer of a game, and maybe even Michigan State could have won if they had to play like they can play but they were not even competitive in this game at all and they lost that Maryland 27 to 13 as you can see they're just not really competitive in any of these games and then they lost to Ohio State 49 to 20 in a game that wasn't even as close as the score would indicate obviously Ohio State takes their foot off the gas toward the end of games and Michigan State uh, ended up making it look a little bit more respectable, but it wasn't that close. And in that Ohio State game, quarterback Peyton Thorne had 113 yards, a touchdown, interception. Peyton Thorne last season was fantastic, but this year he's just not doing as well as he was in the previous season. He's struggling this season, and, and really Michigan State's whole offense as a whole has been struggling. Running back Jarrett Broussard, the transfer from Colorado, and running back Jalen Berger, the transfer from Wisconsin. Both of these running backs had no yards against Ohio State, and obviously Ohio State's run defense is fantastic, but they could not run the ball at all. Neither even got 10 yards in this game. Wide receiver Jaden Reed had 67 yards and a touchdown. 
He's a really good receiver. He's probably going to be in the NFL. And wide receiver Montori Foster, 54 yards and a touchdown. Both of these wide receivers are really good. And unfortunately for Michigan State, it wasn't enough to beat Ohio State. But both of these receivers were the best offense that Michigan State had in, in the Ohio State game. And they do miss Jalen Naylor, who's in the NFL now. He, he was kind of like the – took the threat off of Jaden Reed. And he was probably the best receiver on the team. But Michigan State's offense can still play, but they are struggling this season. Now on the defensive side of the ball, cornerback Amir Speed had five tackles, safety Jay Manghum had five tackles, and linebacker Kyle Halliday had three tackles for Michigan State. Now, Michigan State's defense can play, but they have given up a lot of points this season to some teams like Washington and Minnesota and Ohio State, so they need to improve if they're going to be able to win more games this season, especially to get their first Big Ten win. So who do I think is going to win this game? Now, coming into the season, you would probably think Michigan State would win this game because it's at home, and they've been playing fantastic football for the last year, and Wisconsin is a good football team, but they've kind of been you know, struggling a little bit lately. But now that Jim Leonard is the interim head coach and Wisconsin's opened up the offense, Wisconsin is playing much better than Michigan State just based off the last game against Northwestern. And Michigan State just had a tough loss to Ohio State. I'm going to go with Wisconsin to win this game 28-21. to I think Michigan State can win this game. But I think Michigan State's offense is not doing good enough this season right now. I think their defense is giving up too many points. And I think Wisconsin is now energized behind Jim Leonard, the new interim head coach. They played fantastic against Northwestern. And I think it's going to carry over in the Michigan State game. And I think Wisconsin is going to win at Michigan State 28-21. to Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below whether you think Wisconsin or Michigan State is going to win this game and why. And I will see you next time.